Okay, welcome to my channel, Science TV. So for today, we're going to have a topic, Attendance Monitoring System. And the following are the lesson objectives to guide you how to create an Attendance Monitoring System with Google Sheets and App Sheets. And also number two, create a mobile app attendance system through App Sheets. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is to create, a, a open a Google Sheets and be able to have the following uh, name for your column. No need for you to uh, provide your design for this. It's because this is just our database for our attendance to be deployed in a mobile applications. So I, I just name our worksheets here, Attendance. And the name of our app is Attendance Monitoring System. Okay? So the next thing to do after uh, providing such name names for our column, you can now proceed to the extension and be able to get add-ons. And install your add-ons here. Just search the keyword, App Sheets. All right, so here, as you click the and select this, okay, you can actually have an option here to install that. In my end, I have installed it already, so that is why it shows the app sheets event. So, but make sure you have to search about the app sheets add-ons. All right, so. Once you are done installing the app sheets, you can now proceed on extension and be able to select app sheets and create an app. So here, there you go. It will open for a while the site for our app sheets. Basically, the idea is whatever the data that you have in in our Google Sheets will be will also reflect in this particular sites. All right, so here I may, yeah, I may close this and that's okay. And basically let's start by having, by going into this info and you can actually change the logo if you want, edit the name, say for instance, um, the name that may reflect in our app is just attendance or yeah attendance system All right and yeah automatic it will be saved and be able to we can able to see it in our dashboard so the next thing you may also improve your ui so that in your emulator you can actually see some changes here but for the purpose of a demo, I may guide you now, okay, in the data tab. So in the data tab, all you need to do, okay, for a while, I may delete my previously created uh, connection errors because it may, at some point, it may produce errors like this. Alright, so next thing to do is to link or link our table from here going to app sheets so just click new table and be able to locate your sheets from your google drive so in my end i just name it attendance monitoring system and i just select it in my google drive and add this as table in the app sheets and if you notice the error earlier okay was already fixed so here the attendance app okay is syncing right now in my emulator or simple emulator here so this one okay this one is the view if we are going to deploy it in our app so let me explain to you by the way so here is the attend uh, student id uh, student name, time in, time out, attachment for let's say they would like to take pictures as an evidence that they are in the particular location, 
okay, for us to check their attendance. And another evidence is to um, input their signatures. So here you can actually uh, require users and be able to have data validation. At some point, you can correct uh, users from their data entry. Okay, so here I may leave row number. It's because we this this is necessary for us to compile it in our database. And next thing here, let us proceed now to the yeah student ID. Let us name this properly student ID. Let us set this as yeah. Still we can set that as text, alright. And also this name or either text. Also, we can set this as date time, date time, all right, and yeah, they can even leave this as blank, all right, and the next here, okay, will also require image, and yeah, as you can see, they are required to capture themselves like that, but they can this is just an option. Signature is for them to be able to input their signature. So let's try. Let's say we have here, okay. Let's say we have your student number, a name, uh, like John. And also for this, let us say this is, this is the date, all right. And yeah. For some key in signature and be able to save it as the next step. So it may sync our app and read it to accept for yeah some possible uh, input, right? And as you can see here, okay, and as you manage in the app gallery for for the meantime. So from here, so here comes now our view. I'm be able to, yeah, let me cancel this for a while so that you have here uh, able to see some possible uh, link files. Alright, so let us check now if those information was already saved in our um, Google Sheets. So let me refresh for a while. Okay, it seems that we did not actually save our data. So let me try again saving a particular ID. Alright, next is the name. Jan. Okay, and key in some possible signature and save this data. Okay, so we have now one data already and hopefully this will able, yeah, as you can see, Jan is already here in our database. Now, if you wish to send it to the um, what they call this to the attendee you can actually uh, proceed to go here in this button to share and be able to okay copy the link and yeah it's up to you but the best thing here for the attendees is to install mobile users to install the app on their device and yeah they can actually um use the particular app no using this so in my end here let me try okay if let's say you just copy it paste it to your email and as they are accessing right now in the device they can copy it right away in their browser and this is the view that they can uh yeah, access from this Google app. Yeah. Possibly to install the app. Okay, but 
I have successfully created this already. Right? So, access denied for this. Okay, my app. Yeah, this one. So, here are the previously created app of my students also. So, maybe I should allow this user for a while. Gmail. Okay. So, to be able to use the Okay, then, yeah, send it there, hoping this will actually um, be able to have some options, okay, to use that. Okay, it seems that uh, we can actually try, okay, linking that in linking the app in our for some reason we cannot actually we cannot actually use no. yeah but this is the actually the view no for yeah let me log on my email for a while this one hoping to use it Okay, so for some reason, I have encountered problem like this. It's because I am actually using an emulator. But right now, no, I provided an access for the particular user. And I can now, um, yeah, key in my uh, signature as well or details for, yeah, for my attendance. So this is just number combined with text and the name for example and the date and tap for possible signature and save so here i have the data already and as i check to the google sheets it will automatically add it okay in the database so that's all for this lesson Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Thank you.